unless this thing goes into overtime and there's no chance of that, he's not going to do that. Moore looking for Jeffries and then went the other way for the touchdown. Ernest Gibbons open. He saw Jeffries was well covered. And now the giant lead is 24-19 with a minute and 28 remaining in the fourth. All right, Ernest Gibbons is going to come across the back of the end zone and Moon just zips it. Look at this. The only sad part about this is that Ernest Gibbons at this point, until unless they can get the ball back, cannot get a thousand yards. So they got Jeffries' 100 catches, and Gibbons will be short about four, four yards. And Del Greco able to drill it through following the fifth touchdown reception of the season for Ernest Gibbons. 128, the important number. That's the time remaining in the fourth. So the Giants with a 24 20 lead on the Oilers. That's the offensive coordinator, Kevin Gilbride, in a discussion with Warren Moon. And the Giants, a minute and 28 away from concluding their season. They'll be the first to go out following. What is up, guys? And YK31 here. In case you haven't figured it out, I'm a bit of a Warren Moon fan. <laughs> But there you saw some run and shoot. Oilers against the Giants. Warren Moon, Kevin Gilbride, War, and Ernest Gibbons and company. And in part two of the run and shoot series, I'm going to go over the 60 series. Go, choice, slide. I run these a lot. Outside of the air raid, shallow cross, and smash stuff. I run these the most. And we're going to go with the go route concept. You have a backside curl, you have a takeoff route by the receiver, the circle receiver. R1 is going to do a hook streak post option, and X is going to do a curl flat route. I prefer to hot route that to a whip because it's closer to the way it's taught in real life. In real life the receiver gets a jab step inside and then curls out as opposed to just going a flat route. So I will hot route that to a whip. Um, you still get the same read more often than not against zone and against man if they're not, you know, shading to the outside you can hit that for a quick hitter against man coverage. And you also have the uh, backside curl route against man if you have catch someone in um, single coverage on that side. We're gonna go go route to start out with against your, you know, garden variety my, uh, two man under. I like to re hot route that fade because on default there's a little hitch in it which will delay him clearing him out the corner and the safety out, which is going to be vital against zone. You see the, um, whatchamacallit, single side curl, and you see Gonzalez run the flat route, and the option route by Douglas. We're going to hit the uh, back shoulder throw here. Let's take a look at that option route there. It's man. You see how he turned around and hitched? Gets that cushion. That time he runs in there. I hit him right on that cut. When I hit him right on that break. I didn't get in there that time. When I hit him right at the break. This is where the uh, I like to do the whip as well. And you can hit that uh back shoulder curl. 
Let's show you that option route versus man. Press man. A press break there. That time he continued it up the field. So when you see him declare himself, that's when you want to get to the point where you want to throw the ball, right at the break point. That's when he's going to declare himself. That's when you want to get the ball thrown. Wow. You don't want to be late with it. Trust your guy to make the right decision. Go whip again. You know, Gonzalez is going to, you know, beat most people on that. Julio, the press break. Well, always keep your eye open for that. Get up! Hey, let's go! Julio again. Julio just is killing press. Zona's where you can have all kinds of fun. So it gets a base cover three. Wait for that guy to clear. Let's, let's flip the cover three so we can get the uh do you safety in a more favorable position. Let's flip the play. We're gonna read curl. We're gonna read the flat defender. Get it right into that hole. He just has to hang on. This is cover three. Let's go. Check, check. Having to the jab inside. Run right down that seam. Robert safety has to respect, comes down to respect that. Just pop it right behind him. Now if someone is using that, you just gotta use your head a little bit. You can hit that really quick. Before that safety drops on the other side. Yeah, it really puts the defense in a bind. Even if you leave it on the um, flat route, you first have to identify who's doing what. You can hit a quick hitter there. Go out against cover too hard. Same idea. Pretty flat seam. He's got to be able to pay the price. Hey, let's go. He might be able to hit this opening here. And this opening right here. So a lot of things open up against cover too hard. I'm just gonna catch the ball, buddy. Catching that safety in a two-on-one. Where's he gonna go? He's late. Again, it's cover to sink. That curl flat is going to be a little bit harder to hit up the seams, and that curl is gonna be a, little, a lot harder to hit also. And it buys the safety more time to get over like that. You see. So you gotta identify the difference between cover two sink and cover two hard. Get it right there. Cover four. That clear out's gonna open that up pretty nicely. Or any kind of purple zone to defense out of a zone. Hey, 
There he wins the curl. See that? So you should have an answer, no matter what type of zone defense you're looking at. Do this unlike, unless you like interceptions. If we base align it, still reads it right. And they won't read it right all the time, but you know, a halfway decent awareness receiver is going to do it more often than not. Or a little whippy here. So against zone, you should have an answer. No matter what the coverage is. Eh, why not? And that's the beauty of the shoot. See, he doesn't give up. He doesn't give up his intentions. Choice. Basically, an inverted go concept, but this time you're looking at the uh, single side receiver first. And with the choice read, he's either going to go inside release to the middle, out route, or outside release streak to the sideline. As soon as you see inside release versus a tight two man under, you want to zip that ball in there. If it's outside release, it's going to be a much harder throw. And hope for better throw than that. <laughs> There you go. Ah, uh, but he didn't quite get it. There you go. Ah, uh, but you gotta hang on to it. Oh. That I go to if I don't like what the uh, choice read is doing. Or I'll hit. Or I'll hit Douglas on that post or in cut that he'll do. He'll do one of the two. Like so. Oh wow, did he catch that? Julio! You know, I just want to give him a shot. That's all I want to do. Give him a shot. <laughs> he came down with it. So that's two man under. You know, again, the most common form of man defense you're going to be seeing. Now, here's what gets a Garden Variety cover three. Being played with cushion, he reads it and just breaks his route off. Space align it. You know, that time I like to see him do the slant, but you know, Julio's not the smartest tool in the shed. You can also hit that. If they cheat, you 
can hit that. See how hard he bites down on this? Whoops. And he just runs a square in right behind it. Let's flip the play. You see Harry Douglas recognize the lack of a robber there? Lack of a lack of obstruction and just keeps on going. He realizes that Gonzalez is going to be occupied, occupying that dude. So he just runs straight to this grass here, and his safety is a little bit late. Cover too hard. Put those safeties to the sideline. He's going to go straight to that sideline there. Now you saw against cover three, Douglas do the uh, square in against cover two. Makes a beeline right to that middle after this guy cheats on Gonzalez. Space align that. You got a major problem there. Base lining that then. Again. Base lining it again. So against cover too hard, that puts a defense in a bind. It's going to be relying on a good user middle linebacker control to take away one of these two options, either X or R1. That time, Julio went dipping inside, and that helps clear out space for this, because this guy couldn't bite down on it. He has to honor Julio. Number four. Hey, let's go. Got a soft corner there. That's going to be there all day. What if they show press out of it? You go up top. He recognizes it and goes up top. And that's what the shoot does. Like if I do that, that flat defender has got to choose. You can't cover them both. Or we can do this and pray they don't collide. That time, Julio decided to run a streak for whatever reason. And you know, they're not always going to make the right read. It's not always. Gonna, it's not automatic. Nor should it be. So that's the choice concept. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you all later. Peace.